Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and today we are going to discuss Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome in the form of one case study. This Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B1 which is also known as the thiamine. The detailed video on vitamin B1 you can find in the vitamin playlist. So let's start. The case description is 56 year old male top keeper presents with the history of forgetfulness that is amnesia, muscle weakness, poor appetite, tremors in hand and nystagmus that is involuntary to and fro eye movements. Attending physician noticed that he had unsteady gait when he entered the OPD and was looking confused. History revealed that he is non-alcoholic for past 20 years taking 1 to 2 litre of beer every day. On examination, he was found to have unsteady gait and fine tremors and he was found to have mental confusion too. And few images are also given. This is the picture showing the ophthalmoplegia that is the paralysis or weakness of eye muscles which causes the nystagmus. And this is the picture of lack of incoordination while walking which occurs due to the ataxia. Ataxia is the group of condition which, which causes disturbances in the balance, coordination and speed. Now let's see the questions. Now the first question is, what is the probable diagnosis and justify? So from the description, we can have idea that the patient is chronic alcoholic. And he is presented with the nystagmus that is involuntary to and fro eye movements and lack of coordination while walking. Then there is a tremors, fine, and then there was a amnesia. From all this sign and symptoms, we can conclude that patient is having vernix korsakoff psychosis. This vernix korsakoff psychosis occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B1 that is thiamine. And it occurs due to, due to the moderate to severe deficiency of vitamin B1. And it is mainly seen in chronic alcoholics because there is a poor dietary intake as well as impaired absorption of nutrients from the gastrointestinal tract. And the mild deficiency of vitamin B1 presents with the loss of appetite, there is a fatigue. There is a irritability and peripheral neuropathy and it is mostly seen in elderly patients with poor diet intake. Fine. Now we will see classical triad of Wernick's disease. So the classical triad of Wernick's disease you can remember by remembering one mnemonic that is GOA. Where G stands for global confusion, O stands for ophthalmoplasia which occurs due to the weakness or paralysis of eye muscles and A stands for ataxia. This is the classical triad of Wernick's disease and it is seen only in one third of patients presenting clinically. So that is the first question and its answer. Now the second question is, what is the difference between Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis? So this disease was described by two researchers independently in 19th century as Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis. And then finally it was named as Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome. Fine. This disease was described by two researchers independently as a Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis and finally it was named as Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome. And this Two components that is Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis are seen in different phases of the same disease. Fine. They are the different phase of the same disease that is Wernick's Korsakoff psychosis. Fine. So first we will see Wernick's encephalopathy and then we will see Korsakoff psychosis. So Wernick's encephalopathy. So Wernick's encephalopathy is the acute neuropsychiatric manifestation of vitamin B1 deficiency and it should be treated immediately with the parenteral thiamine 
documentation to prevent progression to the Korsakoff syndrome, which is characterized by the permanent brain damage and irreversible loss of memory. So the warning encephalopathy is the acute neuropsychiatric manifestation of thiamine deficiency. Now we will see Korsakoff psychosis. The Korsakoff psychosis is basically amnestic state where patients shows impairment of recent memory, though the past memory is intact. And one characteristic feature of this Korsakoff psychosis is the confabulation. Confabulation is the falsification of fact. So this confabulation is the important characteristic features where patient fills the memory gap by falsification which he believes to be true. So that is Korsakoff psychosis. So that is about Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis which are the different phase of the same disease that is Wernick's Korsakoff psychosis. Fine. So this is the picture explaining the Wernick's Korsakoff psychosis. There is a loss of muscle in coordination, abnormal eye movement, confusion, inability to form new memories, recent memory is lost while the past memory is the intact. There is a double vision, hallucination and the characteristic features of Korsakoff psychosis that is confabulation that is falsification of fact. Now the third and last question is how will you approach to this patient? What investigation would you require to confirm the diagnosis and what will be the treatment plan? So as this warning Korsakoff psychosis occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin B1 so first we have to check the plasma vitamin B1 level then Transketolase is the enzyme which is dependent on the vitamin B1. So we can also check the RBC transketolase activity. It is generally reduced in case of vitamin B1 deficiency. And we can treat the patient with the help of vitamin B1 administration along with supportive therapy. And the dose of vitamin B1 will be 50 mg per day thiamine intravenously along with 60 mg twice a day orally. So this is the prescribed dose for the vitamin B1 in this particular patient. That is all about the case of Wernick Korsakoff psychosis. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.